Hey guys, oh, it's cold. It's so cold. The only way it's gonna get warm is if I get some hot chocolate, but the hot chocolate I wanted to get is down at the White House. And I don't have time to go to the White House today. Well, at least not now, I was there earlier today. But for the next hour or so, we're just gonna walk around this neighborhood and I'm gonna take you down to Bill and Hillary Clinton's house and well, whatever else we see. They live just down the street. Hopefully we'll get some comments and I'll know that this video is actually working. There are a lot of birds up here. Uh, let's cut through here, yeah, it's always more fun. Hey, afternoon guys. Yes, a live video. Wide angle camera. They don't still live in DC, they just keep a house here. Yeah? Hello! Caught a live stream, yeah. So the Clintons, uh, I believe they live in New York, but they have a Washington DC home, so they don't have to stay in a hotel. When they come to DC, they stay in their house. Yeah, I guess it is afternoon, isn't it? I've lost track of these things. It happens when you get old. Time doesn't really matter as much. It's all the same. So we're on the grounds of the National Cathedral and we're gonna make our way down, oh, down towards Clinton's home, which is behind the vice president's place. There's the cathedral up there. You can see it through the trees. They do live in New York most of the time, but they keep a house in Washington. And they're here. They were here last week. Don't know if they're here now, but we'll find out. We'll go. Uh, we'll go borrow a cup of sugar or something. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So. Yeah, they made a lot of money. So for those who want to follow along, we're on Wisconsin Avenue, the 3,000 block of Wisconsin Avenue Northwest, and we're going to be heading south on Wisconsin Avenue. Uh, down towards the British International School, and then we're going to cut back through the woods and pop up behind the Clinton house. Maybe. Ish. iPhone 14, it's pretty much the same as the iPhone 13. I'm not really noticing a speed difference. In fact, to be honest, uh, with the new iOS 16, I'm noticing it's actually a few a few things that are a little slower. Like when you uh, search for an app on your phone, iOS 16 searches all sorts of other stuff first rather than the app. It's kind of annoying. The rain has temporarily stopped. I don't know what the rest of the day holds. It is 53 Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. 14, 13. And over there is Alton Towers, Albans Towers. That's a, uh, somebody just waved to me. Uh, Alban Towers is a very famous old hotel and back in the day, there was a Japanese naval attache who lived there. Herbert Hoover was convinced he was a spy. They ransacked his place trying to find out what was going on inside there. They couldn't find anything. He eventually went back to Japan, plotted the attack on Pearl Harbor, and commanded, I guess it was the Hiryu, the aircraft carrier at Midway, the last of the four aircraft carriers that was sunk went down and he was the captain on the ship. But before World War II, he lived right there because he worked at the Japanese embassy. 
pretty wild. Air and Space opens October 14th. I'll have a ticket. I will take you there. I was at the White House earlier. It was kind of misting, but it's kind of let up, I think. Yeah, I get people wave at me. Usually the Secret Service guys. <laughs> like, hey, what are you doing, Penguin 6? So today, uh, in my video tonight, you're going to see where the Secret Service had their little accident yesterday on the Vice President's motorcade route. And uh, hey, who knows what else? My lunch, maybe my second lunch. Yeah, my kids freak out when people say hi to me. They're just like, that's so cringe. <laughs> and kid language. Um, I do use the subway occasionally, uh, but I prefer to walk. Um, the subway to where I stay in Washington is not really that convenient. Um, I can take the subway to my apartment in DC and then I still have a mile walk. <laughs> you know, that's why you see me. Sometimes I take the subway and then I grab a scooter or something, but uh, I don't really use the subway. The bus on the other hand, the bus goes right by my house. I probably take the bus as often as I take the subway. But generally I walk or ride a bike or a scooter. Oh. So we're going to go by the Russian embassy here in a bit. We'll see if the signal holds out or if the Russian KGB tries to hack my signal. <laughs> FSB. Nah, my kids won't be with me. But you can say hi if you see me. Or you can say hi in front of them. It's fine. You might see me if you... I don't know what the schedule is next week. We've got helicopters tomorrow. And he's going to Florida. And then we've got a helicopter on Friday. He's going to Camp David. They have a home in Washington, D.C. They don't live here that often, but they do stay at their house in Washington, D.C. from time to time. And I'll show you their house in a bit. It's uh, that's still about 15, 20 minutes away. Ooh, what isn't 20 minutes away, though, is Rocklands, yeah? Mmm, the barbecue smell wafts strongly in this neighborhood. Its presence is noted. We are walking, Autumn, but I'm using a stabilizer, so hopefully the camera isn't too jittery for you. My kids do not like my videos. They don't watch them. Though they sometimes come in the chat, and they use coded language that basically is like, Dad, Mom's going to kill you if you don't get home soon. <laughs> so sometimes when you see these certain comments, I know what they mean. It's like, Dad, get home. Mom's ready to kill you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the barbecue is good. Yeah, I just saw Loretta Lynn die. That was pretty wild. She was like coal miner's daughter, right? Chill. Got an ambulance coming, guys. It's going to be a little loud here in a bit. Yeah, so guys with headphones, stand by. We have an ambulance approaching. There's the Russian embassy over there. This is Jaywalk. So that's the Russian embassy. And these are sunflowers planted by Ukrainian protesters. This guy's taking pictures of the FBI security cameras. This is the FBI safe house here on the left. It's where they do all their spying on the Russians. So this house is very heavily guarded, but it's pretty well known this is the FBI house. Oh, there goes the ambulance, ambulance 20. Turned the siren off, that was nice of them. Oh, they got a pirate. I'll show you the house in a bit. It's still about 15, 20 minutes away. So this guy painted his fence the Ukrainian colors and then some Russian came and put Z's on his fence. So then he made Zelensky's out of the Z's. 
He's like, okay, you're gonna graffiti me? I'll just, I'll just one up you. You know, it's odd. I can't tell. I when I streamed the other day, it showed me how many people were watching on each platform. But today, the app doesn't show that. I don't know what's up with that. So the ambulance just stopped right here at the gas station. Bit odd. I used to have lots of kids' music playing out of my. I still have kids' music on my playlist from when I used to put the kids to sleep. I just don't have the heart to take it off my playlist because it reminds me of when my kids were little. Hmm. Looks like we got an ambulance and a fire truck back here, probably a medical emergency. What's the white balance in your camera? I don't, white, I'm not sure what you're saying. I do have a gimbal. I have a gimbal on my camera right now. I haven't done a 360. I haven't done a 360 video in a long time because I, my 360 camera is now out of date, and I haven't gotten around to buying a new one. Oh, it's a green light. Oh, they're they're texting. Oh, calling and texting at the same time. That's good. We are live here. We're currently at Wisconsin and Calvert Street Northwest. Wisconsin and Calvert. We got another five or six blocks down Wisconsin. Then we're going to go through the woods for a bit. And then voila, we will be at the Clinton House. If we make it through the woods intact. A little foreshadowing there. <laughs> hey, Flaps, how you doing, bud? Okay, let's wait for this car to run me over. It's Okay, gas guys, $3.83 a gallon. Is that good for your neighborhood? It's a white fuzzy ball on the right side. I don't see it, dude. Over there? I don't know. Oh, I have a, I have a wind muff. I have a, it's a black, um, I have a hairy, oh, maybe it's this little thing. There's a label on the wind muff. So a wind muff, it's called a dead cat. It's something that goes over the phone and it's hairy, it's all furry, and it's to stop the wind noise. Cause it's actually kind of windy today. And if I didn't have it, you guys would be hearing, you know, in the background. But the wind muff is uh, to chill it. Yeah, it's, um, I'm not sure. Oh, what is it? Yeah, well, we'll just have to deal with it. Maybe if I zoom in a little bit. There, maybe maybe now it's gone. <laughs> There's a baseball field for kids. This is like a little league field. The vice president's house is just the other side of those trees. There's Rockland's, that black place over there. That's the barbecue joint I go to. I get burgers next door sometimes. And then there's a Uyghur place that's supposed to be really, really good, but I haven't gone there uh, eventually. And then there's a dumpling house. Every time we go there, my wife gets angry and fights with the people that work there. She does that at a lot of Chinese restaurants. It's gone? Yeah. Not sure what it was. You know what it might be? I think, I think the camera was in the wide angle mode and it was picking up like the label on the back of the microphone wind guard. And I think when I zoomed in, I switched over to the 1X camera rather than the wide angle camera. And now you guys aren't seeing it. That's my theory. I'll stick with it. No, but it can be annoying. I know. There's a black squirrel in there. So this is a Whole Foods with no cashiers. Yeah. Everything is like you just walk in, grab what you want, and then you walk out and you pay via Amazon app. Everything, like, I mean, literally, you walk in, throw everything in a bag, and walk out. And then you get a bill, like, a couple hours later for everything you bought. It's really quite cool. This is Good Guys, where good guys do not go. 
Uh, lots of Russians go here and lots of FBI guys are out here following them. So this is the back door to the vice president's house. This is where that car ran into the gate about two weeks ago. I think the car just ran out of control down that hill. Isn't California like five bucks? So out in the country, my gas is like three dollars and fifty or three dollars and thirty cents. So I, I fill up when I'm out in the country. Yeah, it's like automated. It's really quite cool. I don't even know how they do it because you, you scan an app when you go in, and then I think they just. When you buy stuff, it just sort of follows you around somehow. I'm not sure. Because I need a cup of sugar and they're my neighbors. <laughs> That's why we're gonna go there. Seven bucks a gallon. And you have to drive a lot. That's the thing. See, I lived in Hong Kong and gasoline in Hong Kong is about nine US dollars a gallon, maybe 10 bucks a gallon, but you could go like a couple weeks and never really burn out a tank of gas because everything was so close. Some days I just didn't even drive my car. So I didn't really notice it that much. They used all that money to subsidize the public transit system. You know, if you access the street cameras, you might be able to see me. I don't know how many are working right now, though. Hello, Sky Blue. This is actually an embassy property. So we just walked past the Chinese visa section, which is part of their embassy. But this building here, I think, is part of the Swiss embassy. Or like the Swiss visa section. I'm not sure. It used to be an embassy and the street sign. This is the apartment, but this one next to it. There are like signs out here saying diplomatic parking only. There's big get lost cameras out here. So there's somebody, somebody's in this building. Six seventy nine. That's months. Okay. Ow. Prickle just fell in my foot. Like a prickle tree or something. I don't know where that came from. DC at large city council. I don't know when the election is. I thought we already had our primary. This is the CW Networks channel here. It used to be the WB. flowers we only got about one more block and then we're gonna turn guys we're gonna get off this road get away from the cars which is my favorite thing to do and then it's all jungle until we get to the Clinton house if you can call a deciduous forest jungle <laughs> Any great restaurants downtown? No, I don't like the restaurants in this town. The restaurants suck. Um, but if you are in town, you can go to Old Ebbets Grill. It's one of the oldest restaurants. It's a power restaurant in downtown. There's a, a Thai place called Soy, like SOI 328. It's not bad, but I really don't like the food here. Has anyone paid under $3 yet? I heard gas prices are going up again. But aren't UK gallons slightly different than American gallons? Aren't like, a, is a UK gallon is like 1.1 American gallons, I thought. I'm not sure though. It's like UK baking sizes are different. Like a cup, a UK cup is different than an American cup. 
if I remember right. Yeah, I hate stoplights. I was just mentioning that to my wife the other day. In Hong Kong, I could drive from the north side of Hong Kong Island to the south side of Hong Kong Island and only have to go through like seven stoplights. Here I go through seven stoplights and I can still see my house. <laughs> it's like... Well, that's right, they sell by the leader, don't they? It actually feels like a London cold day today. I don't know, if you've been to London, it gets cold, yeah? And then it gets this, like, wet cold. And that's what it feels like today. Wet, cold London day. But you still use like, for baking measurements, are you guys on grams or are you still using like cups and teaspoons and tablespoons? Or are you okay? No, we haven't seen the Clinton's house. It's at the other end of this, uh, we're gonna hike there right now. Which trail do I wanna go? I think we're going down this way. I don't have had to do that. Actually, thanks for reminding me. I actually have to... I have tickets to their Europa game tomorrow or whatever I gotta get rid of. Oof. It sometimes gets blurry here because of the bandwidth. Alright, we're going to the Clinton's house now. It's up, up there. We just gotta go through their backyard and hope they're not, like, trigger happy. <laughs> I've got a barber jacket on today. It's a wax barber jacket, so it's it's, it's, it's the closest thing to Kevlar I can find. Wax cotton. Hey, afternoon, Tim. Yeah, and I just saw that in the Washington Post that he was going to go ahead and buy Twitter. I think he was, uh, didn't want any more of his, any more of his text messages coming out. Oh, 500. Okay. I can't see, I see the, yesterday I knew how many people were in the chat, but today I don't. It's weird. Ah, that's weird. Okay. Ugh, it's muddy here. There's a dog here. I'm in this I'm in the grass right now. It's in the mud. Yuck. No, oh, it's all mud here. Okay. Hmm. Now do I go up that way? I think there's a bigger path over here more back down. Let's find out. 445. Okay, cool. Let's go find it. It's it's up this way, I think. So we're back behind Bill and Hillary Clinton's Washington house. We're trying to find the path that goes up to their house. I think the path is up here. That was the path less traveled. <laughs> we decided not to travel it. Main path. This looks more, yeah, this looks more legit. Let's take this one. Oof. Cool. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Very muddy back here. Ugh. Where am I? Oh, I know where I am. You still use cups? But aren't British cups different than American cups? I 
can't begin to tell you how muddy this path is. It's like it's gooey muddy. I'm in the I'm in the weeds. That's the path to Clinton's house. Ugh. A pinch and a dash. Yeah, that's my wife. She's just like, put some more in. How much? Enough. I'm just like, how much is that? You know, enough. More than that, lose. It's like, oh come on. You want it to taste good? Tough. Okay. Mmm. Construction. Somebody built a bridge. Now we're on the rock path that I remember. Okay. Let's go up this way, guys. You ever get that feeling all the squirrels are following you? <laughs> like that Rick and Morty cartoon. I'm not that good. To me, it's all goo. Different levels of gooiness. I'm actually going to make puto when I get home, which is a Filipino, like a rice dough cupcake. My kids were asking for that. Their nanny in Hong Kong used to make them puto all the time. We haven't had it in a while. Maybe that's not squirrels, it's a ghillie soup sniper. Wow, look at this tree, guys. This whole tree just got yanked right out of the ground. Wrath of God style. The roots didn't run very deep. Oh. What's happening? We're in the woods behind Hillary and Bill Clinton's Washington home. We're gonna see it in just a few minutes when we get to the top of this hill. Oh, if I don't fall down from the slippery mud, which is a possibility. Mochi, we had mochi the other day. This is a national park. This is part of Rock Creek and the Glover Archibald Trail. <sighs> Sorry guys, I just went up a big hill in the mud. Yeah, the storm made a lot of firewood. And da -da 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 -da, we're here and they're here. That's the Clinton home right there in front of you guys. See the cars with the New York license plates? They're all, I think they're here too. Cause there's a lot of uh, security vehicles here today. So over here is the Danish ambassador and the Denmark embassy. And I don't know who lives here, but that's the Clinton's place there. The red brick one right there. So you guys have now seen Bill and Hillary's house. There is a Secret Service agent in the vehicle, in the driveway. Or the one at the end of the road. Yeah, there's um, a device called U Live or Live U. And it's a uh, it's what's called a banded, bonded cellular system. You have to have four different mobile data plans and it links together all four to guarantee a high bandwidth uh, feed. Now I bought one of those devices, but it was several hundred dollars a month and I wasn't doing as much live streaming. So I, I sent it back. We might get another one. I, I, it depends how live streaming goes. I mean, I used you know, I started as a live streamer. Oh, this is the Polish ambassador's house, by the way. I started as a live streamer, 
but uh, we'll see about maybe getting that device. The problem is buying four different mobile phone contracts from four different carriers because you don't get any economy of scale. You got to pay like $90 per plan, basically. It's really quite annoying. This is the Embassy of Sri Lanka. Yeah, it's a pretty posh neighborhood. I would have shown you Clintons more, but there were, there were like cops everywhere there. And this is, I'm not sure whose house this is. It's pretty posh though. Now, that black building is the Brazilian embassy, the embassy of Brazil. And the building next to it is the Brazilian ambassador's house, which is not, not bad. And across the street is the Italian embassy, the embassy of Italy. The cones, what traffic cones? I don't know. I've made them, they've had chicken adobo, but they're not really big into that. They like the baked goods like babinka and puto and stuff. You can trick or treat here. Hey, Paul and Lindy, how you doing? But uh, not sure, not sure how many people would answer the door. The vice president used to do trick or treating. He used to be able to trick or treat at the vice president's house. I had a burger earlier today, Flap. But we're gonna get hot chocolate when this is over. We're gonna go back to the National Cathedral and get hot chocolate. Debbie? Nope. It's answering somebody else's question. The German embassy is in Georgetown. It's actually quite, quite large and it's kind of in its own little space. The German and French embassies are in Georgetown because, you know, they get along so well over history. They decided to put their embassies near each other. Um, yeah, a lot of these trees are selected as because they're evergreens and they'll keep their privacy functions most of the year. DC is a little bit southern compared to most of the US, so our leaves, you know, a little bit more temperate than, you know, even Philadelphia, for example, which is two hours from here. The VP's car ran over a curb yesterday. I'll show you the curb in my video tonight, but she was fine. They just transferred her to another vehicle as a precaution because they're more worried about the car, I think, not being able to do its mission. Okay, Massachusetts Avenue. Speaking of the VP, we're gonna go buy our house in just a bit. That That's daring, to back out your car onto Mass Avenue. I wouldn't do that, There's too many crazy people. Okay, unfortunately, now we have a nice, long, slow, steady uphill. Ugh. No, no block parties here. Yeah, she wasn't hurt at all. They just ran over a curb. But I think they took a chunk of the curb out. I took up, I put a picture up on my channel. That was a commonly asked question who Laura Pelosi's husband was. Uh, Rockefeller was the first person to technically. Here's the Brazilian embassy. And next to it is the Bolivian embassy. That's the old Iranian embassy over there. Next to that is South Africa's embassy. German embassies in Georgetown, Foxhall. South African embassy is actually twice as large now after the end of apartheid. <laughs> they added another wing and put up a statue of Mandela.
I didn't know there was an event there. A lot of the embassies have regular events, though. Like the French do. You can go and hang out and stuff. Here's the Churchill sculpture. This is cold and gray today. Here's Winston Churchill. One foot on British Embassy soil, one foot on American soil, because his mother was an American. A very popular American socialite in England, if you get my hidden meaning. <laughs> She assisted in many ways the career of Winston Churchill through the military. It's like 50 something today. It is, the, the rain's a little left over from Ian. This is the British Embassy on my left here. We will see the British flag shortly. Here's a black squirrel. Um, I think those people that passed me in hoodies were all contractors um, who are working on the British ambassador's home, which is being renovated right now. Okay, hang on. Sorry, the zoom out wasn't working. I was getting dizzy. I'm semi-retired. Yeah, black squirrels are pretty common around here. Let's see if we can find another one. Green minions, yeah? There's a lot of construction going on at the British Embassy. They finished the embassy proper and now they've moved on to the uh, residence, the diplomatic residence, which is next door. And they've been fixing that. Must have been since COVID, basically. DC is still about 50% work from home. One of the highest in the country. So here you see the British flag. This is where they put all the flowers for Queen Elizabeth. And this is the back, this is yet another back door to the vice president's house. Sometimes her motorcade comes through this door. In fact, I think it came through here today. As I was driving by. What did I do in Hong Kong? I went for long walks, ate noodles, enjoyed life. It's raining in central PA. It's probably going to rain here a bit later. I don't know how long we've got. mostly gray here. I grew up there mostly brown, but here they're mostly gray. A few albino ones and then the black ones. <sighs> um, some say hi. Those were contractors. Many of them speak Spanish. Hey, California. 
You are on Massachusetts Avenue by the U.S. Naval Observatory, and we are making our way just out for a short walk today as I've got to pick up my kid from school. Embassy in Finland is just up ahead on the other side of the street, though, as is the Vatican and the Norwegian ambassador. So I'm basically at Massachusetts in like 35th Street, 34th Street, Northwest. If you guys want to follow on Google Maps. Yeah. Who's playing today? Champions League? What is it? Or just Europe? Is it a Champions League day? I forgot. I guess it is. Hi. Yeah, you go nuts feeding squirrels here if you wanted to. Oh, championship. Oh, okay. That's always more fun anyway. So I've been walking uphill now for like a mile. <laughs> I'm gonna get a hot chocolate, but now I don't know if I need one. It is an uphill battle. I haven't seen hummingbirds in my house in a while. I used to have a hummingbird feeder. But the wind knocked it out. So we're still going around the vice president's house. Her actual house is right over there behind these trees. We'll see it more in a few months when the trees shed their leaves. It's taco day today, oh. My apartment complex puts up a list of every day of the week, like National Taco Day, National Chocolate Day. And then my kids are looking at it and they're like, Dad, did you know National No Bra Day is coming up? I'm just like, what? And sure enough, it was listed. Apparently that's a big holiday coming up. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go to NHL. Yeah. I don't know if I'll see any NHL games, but my son's good friend, his father, works for the Washington Capitals. So, maybe he'll go see some games. No, they don't speak Tagalog. Though my youngest had a Filipino accent for a while. He's had a little English. His English was influenced by his Filipino nanny. So. All right, 1, 53, 28, 29, 30. This is the official clock of the US government. So you guys can judge how much of a time delay YouTube is putting on this video. I think it's about 15 to 30 seconds. So 153.45 mark. So you guys can check your clocks and see how much of a delay YouTube is throwing on the stream. Hey, how's it going, Marie? Whew. Now I checked that clock versus Apple's internal clocks, and it's very, very close. Like six thousandths of a second or something. I filmed the clock in super slow-mo and then compared it to my clock. It's pretty wild. 20 second delay, that's probably about right. Of course, I'm getting your comments delayed too. Oh, Secret Service just hit the lights pulled over in front of this embassy up here. Let's go. Let's see what they're up to. So that's the embassy of Cape Verde. 
and the Embassy of Iraq. And a Secret Service patrol car has just flipped on his lights and is now parked. So he's either going to the Embassy to sort something out or he's waiting for me to come up there and he's gonna yell at me for something. Who knows? Or somebody is in the embassy and they don't want him there. Oh, another cruiser's coming. All right. They called for backup. So they're going inside. Huh. Not sure what they got. Someone inside. The guy's calling him in. Hmm. Closing the gate. I always thought that was the Iraqi ambassador's house, but it might actually be their embassy. So. Someone's just been brought outside. Hang on. Let's, uh, let's stick around, yeah? No? Got nothing better to do. <laughs> Can you see there's a dude there? Yeah, maybe a pizza. Not sure. I have to get up and get a punch. I don't have my watch on. So there's a guy there, there's two or three guys talking to the Secret Service. I don't know what it is. Uninvited guest. This kind of happens all the time, you know? Yeah, let's go back. There we go. Yeah, pretty boring. Danger is my middle name. Austin Danger Powers. I made my kids watch Austin Powers and they and I was actually taken aback by how much of Austin Powers is really dated. Yeah. Like there were a lot of jokes I just didn't get. You know. Yeah, I was gonna cross over, but that, that cop was already annoyed. I'm holding like two cameras in my hand filming what's going on. They're just like, penguin, get out of here. <laughs> so I'll cross at the crosswalk. Hang on. So the Secret Service has left the premises, but there's no dude with them. Just the two Secret Service officers had gone in. Now they've come out and they're going back to their car and whatever happened is done. Did you guys see that one? Where'd he go? Man, that guy skedaddled up that tree. Oh, here's another one. Um, he's trapped. There's a dog behind me. He's like, I can't get up to the tree with my friend because there's a dog in the way. I used to have a Linux company. The mascot of Linux was penguins. 
And I was reading Rainbow Six at the time, so I just sort of said, hey, Penguin Six. It was actually, it was on my call sign in uh, PlayStation uh, SOCOM Navy SEALs. I was actually pretty good at Navy SEALs. I was on the PS2, I guess. That's the Embassy of Liberia, a uh, West African country known for diamonds and blood diamonds, blood gems. Many of the Secret Service know who I am, yes. Some don't, which can cause confusion, but many of them do know. In fact, the other day, one of them who didn't know me stopped me for questioning but then they radioed in, and they're like, oh, that's Penguin 6, just let him be. <laughs> like, we know this. Pumpkins. Who wants a pumpkin? Look at that big boy. Dude, that's a monster pumpkin. Every year I go on YouTube, and these people have these incredibly designed pumpkins, and mine comes out looking like Charlie Brown carved a pumpkin, basically. Yeah, the other day I was filming a motorcade and one of the officers said, hey, he's here. You can see yourself tonight in this video. <laughs> so a lot of Secret Service guys, they, they don't have any photographs of them doing work. You know, they could be standing right in front of the president, you know, as a human shield or whatever. And nobody takes their picture, they take the president's picture. So if they ever see a photo of them protecting the president, well, that's actually like, look, mom, I have a real job kind of moment, you know? So <laughs> they like that stuff. So sometimes you'll see when I film, I actually focus the camera so you can see the agent of that office. <laughs> Could never pronounce this. All right, you guys, you guys try to pronounce that. Bishop. Amy, Amy Lilianos Lalo Sus Park. Emil, Emil Lianos Lalo Sus Park. Yeah? No idea. No idea. No snow for us. Man. I've never seen, I know where his houseboat is, but I've never been down there. There used to be a lot of congressmen who lived on houseboats. Okay. By the way, what time is it, guys? Anybody know? Because I can't see my clock. Pretty nice path. Two oh three. Okay, we have time to get hot chocolate before all the school kids show up at the hot chocolate place. Lots of time. I could have got barbecue. So there's a little cafe 
over here on my right, next to the cathedral. And uh, we'll go get something to eat there. Where should we go? On my right is an all boys school. There's an all boys school and an all girls school on the grounds of the cathedral. This is the boys. This is the peace cross that was put up to commemorate the Spanish-American War. I believe it was President McKinley put this cross here even before they started construction on the National Cathedral. So this thing's over 100 years old, though, I remember. This cross raised in 1898 to mark the founding of St. Peter and Paul. And I believe, yeah, it was McKinley who set this up. Teddy Roosevelt, I believe, laid the cornerstone of the cathedral, and it was finished under George Bush, the older Bush. Hello. Numbers I put after my name? I don't know, I don't have any, do I? More squirrels. Cathedral. They're still working on the earthquake damage. Eight more years of reconstruction. Yeah, eight more years to get this back to where it was the day before the earthquake. I'm not sure. And all over here is Hagrid's house. This is a little cafe. What do you guys think? Should we get something to drink? So I'm going to have to turn off the stabilizer. Hang on a second, guys. Get a hot chocolate and that plain bagel over there. Sure. Small, medium, or large? Bagel. Medium is fine. Is whole milk okay? Yeah, sure. Just Can I have whipped cream too? Yeah. Yeah, these things are sensitive. And the plain bagel is toasted with cream cheese? No, just, just, just as is. Okay. Do you want it hot at all? Or no, I'm good. Okay.
National Cathedral, Episcopalian. What's your name? Andrew. Okay, 9.37. This is uh, a cafe that's uh, on the grounds of the cathedral it's where a lot of the kids will come after school. I needed a hot chocolate yesterday, it was much colder. I got a plain bagel with nothing on it because I'm a really boring kind of guy. Everything's about to come up. I think I shocked them by ordering a plain bagel with nothing on it. They're like, no. Thank you. Later. Now I had a hamburger for lunch. This is my post hike snack. I forgot whipped cream. Can I talk to you off? It's all right. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. okay, guys. That's our hike today. I'll have a video out later tonight. It won't be a long one, but we'll put something out this evening. Thanks for joining me on my hike. I'm going to enjoy my bagel and hot chocolate now. And I'll see you guys soon.